well done for your part in the Ashes. How tricky is it to transition into 2020s so soon afterwards? Um, I don't think it's tricky at all, really. I mean, um, I think it's a mental change, um, focusing on the plan you need. I mean, yes, we might not have bowled Yorkers and Cutters for a little while, but we've certainly bowled a lot of those over the past four or five years. So it's a mental, getting your plan right, realising that in the ashes, trying to get six balls in a good area is what you want to do. 2020, it's not what you want to do. Um, you need to mix it up. So the guys are... Really excited about these two games. Um, there's only two of us who have come from the, the test, ma test match side. Um, so there's 12 guys who see this as their chance against Australia um, to contribute to what's been a, a fantastic summer for the England cricket team. Um, so there's a lot of energy. Uh, I think the ground, the GS ball, looks fantastic as well. I mean, with the extra seating, I think the atmosphere is going to be fantastic um, in the evening and, and the guys will thrive off that. Great opportunity for some of those younger lads that you mentioned, new faces. But how important to keep Australia kind of down psychologically after the Ashes? Yeah, I mean, any time you step on the field in an England shirt, you're looking to, to beat the opposition. Um, we know Australia are a dangerous team. Um, we know that they'll be hungry to, to win in England. They've, they've not beaten England in England since June 2010, I think, in, in any format. So it, it's up to us to, to continue that form. Um, and that, that responsibility falls on the players in this changing room now. Um, and it's an exciting responsibility. You're not playing in the one-dayers. Lots of new faces in the one-dayers, lots of people resting. What do you say to the spectators who you know, paid a lot of cash to, to come and see the high-profile England stars? Yeah, I'd be hesitant to be too disrespectful to the players who are going to put that England shirt on and go and play. Um, that's a, it's a hugely talented squad. Um, and there'll be some very excited players to, to say, get their opportunity to, against the Aussies. I think some people might forget that we got to the final of the Champions Trophy. Um, some guys have played five um, pretty much back-to-back -back Ashes test matches. So I suppose the other the way to go is just bowl till you break your back. But uh, fortunately, <laughs> we get looked after a little bit better than that now. Michael Vaughan, interesting comments though, talking about kind of partial refunds. You can't sell tickets and, and then rest five big names. What do you make of the former England captain's comments? As I say, I think they're disrespectful to what the, the side that's going to go out in the field. There's guys who have performed throughout the, the county season to get a chance at the international level. Um, and as, a, as an ODI team, we're building towards that, that 2015 World Cup. There's no doubt about that. You need to have a big group of players um, going into that, that World Cup with, with experience of international caps. Um, and they, they wouldn't be in the squad if they're not good enough to play. Um, and that ODI squad will be very focused on, on beating Australia. And I know if I was paying to go and watch, I want to go and watch England beat Australia. That's it. Interesting. You, you tweeted about uh, Darren Lehman this week apologising. How did that manifest itself? Um, yeah, we were just... The Aussies, of course, came into the change room after the, after the game for a beer and, and we had a chat. Um, and... I think my tweet said it all, really. That's the end of it uh, in both of our eyes and um, look forward to, to playing some cricket. If you win this 2020 series, how might you celebrate? Uh, well, we go, I think we fly to Ireland. A few of the guys fly to Ireland the, the next day. Um, so, I mean, it's, again, it's not really, you don't really focus on the celebrations. You focus on, on doing the job on the field, don't you? Um, and, and we're excited about doing that. There's a real, real hunger in this changing room to so get our chance to beat Australia as a 2020 team. Um, and it's another opportunity to impress for, for players because what if we got four, five, six games till the next World Cup? Certainly a great, great chance to press a claim. Luke Wright, Michael Lum, Alex Hales, Michael Carberry, some really dynamic batting power. How excited to be seeing what they can do. Oh, Morgan, Ravi Bapara, Josh the Butler. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's an exciting lineup. There's some, some powerful players and that's... It's, it's great as a captain to, to know you've got that firepower in, in the side. I think um, you will be better the more we play together, the more experience we get off each other, learning sort of to dovetail, etc. Because um, it's not going to be certain players day every day. Um, but, you, I mean, you watch some of, some of the partnerships that Alex Hales and Lum have, have had, the way Morg strikes it, the way Joss has finished games. Um, there's, there's a real belief in that change room that we can set a huge tar target uh, or chase a huge target down. So that's, um, that's a good place to be as a 2020 side. And it's, it's great for English cricket to have so many exciting talents as well.
heard the other day that there's going to be extra security this winter in the light of what Darren said. Does, does that concern you? Are you concerned about what might happen in Australia this winter? Nah, I feel like a rock star, weren't I, with some big heavies behind me. Um, no, not, not concerned at all. I mean, that's up to the ECB to, to do. I mean, I've always, I've toured Australia a couple of times. Um, I've always loved Australia. It's a fantastic place to go. Great restaurants, some good bars, etc. Um, to really enjoy yourself. So I, I see that as being no different um, with maybe a few more big heavies behind me. Was it, was it inflammatory though? Would you be reluctant to go out, for instance? You know, me? Like after, after reluctant to go out? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Or was it, was it inflammatory? You know, there's a few idiots out there, aren't there? Uh, I'm not bothered by that sort of thing. I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to Australia to to win to win the Ashes, to, to play games of cricket. Um, that will be the, the 15, 16, 17 players' job. Um, the rest of the off-field stuff is up to the ECB to, to organise and sort out. I'm, I'm certainly not going to be looking over my shoulder. Do you, I mean, say you're getting on the bounds and you get a few words of wisdom from the crowd, would, would that inspire you? Would, it, would, you, would you thrive on that sort of thing? Um, it's not, certainly won't be a shock to me. I mean, pretty much everywhere in the world you go, you get a few words on the boundary. That's why we shove Trotty down there. Um, but no, he, um, it's part and parcel of the game, isn't it? I think um, certainly through this series, the more abuse I've got, the better I've performed. I don't know if that's something inside of me. I'm, I'm quite a steely character. I'm quite a fiery, fiery character. I like to have a, a bit on the game. Um, that's why I think playing against Australia brings the best out of me. I mean, I personally... Performance-wise, delighted with the way this series has gone. Obviously, to win 3-0, um, but also to get 20 odd wickets at 26, 27 um, on wickets that were designed for to, for the spin. I was was pretty chuffed with. So, um, if I can take care of what happens in, with my game on the field, then the rest of it will look after itself. We saw that the England team put out a statement this morning. But were you part of a sort of decision-making process? To, to, to to decide to put out yeah, I mean, the whole England side, um, all the guys thought um, that a statement would put an end to it, and I think it has. Is it just, okay. it just got out of hand on celebrations on the weekend on the pitch? I think we've issued the apology and we've got nothing to say on that. Last one. Sure, ask, um, Durham hosted its first Ashes test this year. Do you think that the Aegeus Bowl is the sort of place that, that could do that in future years? Yeah, I mean, you look at just training out there today. Um, I think the addition of the hotel and, and the extra seating is, is great for the Aegeus Bowl. I mean, it's always been a great atmosphere down here. We've, as an England side, we've had some really good performances here as well. I think that's what players look for, to be honest. Um, where you play, you want to play at, at grounds where you've had success. Um, Certainly Owen Morgan loves coming here, he seems to get 100 under lights every time he comes. So it's, it's, it's a place where we play good cricket um, and that, that brings the best out of players.